UK manufacturing is forever evolving, with sustainability and the net zero agenda being two of the key drivers. The Manufacturing Technology Centre, a leader in research and development, is bridging the gap between academia and industry, providing a unique opportunity for manufacturers to develop new and innovative processes and technologies. Some of the most exciting future technology in manufacturing is being designed, tested and developed right here in Coventry. From 3D printing of major parts for aero engines to robots that can turn the traditional world of construction upside down. That's what this facility is all about. It's looking at how we bring that innovation into manufacturing. It's how we bring that innovation and technology through to support the UK manufacturing companies for the future. The gap between academia and industry is often referred to as the valley of death. The Manufacturing Technology Centre takes research from academia, industry and other sources and turns it into commercial reality. It's also home to the National Centre for Additive Manufacturing, known as 3D Printing. Katie Milne is working on projects at the forefront of change. Drama is an aerospace supply chain program. We work with really big companies like Rolls-Royce and Airbus and Boeing. And we're trying to find to work with their supply chains to help them adopt additive manufacturing by using facilities like this. MTC's industrial members include some of the UK's major global manufacturers. Working with the MTC is quite complex. We work across sectors like aerospace and automotive and construction. We've got a whole range of technologies, but we also look at grand challenges like sustainability, bringing in new skills. And I describe it a bit like a Rubik's Cube that's been jumbled up. And every project that we do is a mix of all of those things. And there are very few places in the world that you can actually do projects like that. Projects for the future. This is no ordinary shipping container. It's a factory in a box. It can be picked up and deployed anywhere in the world to make components for any industry. It's controlled remotely from here in the, in the Manufacturing Technology Centre. So that means that we can play, get the orders placed for the product wherever it's been made in the world here in the UK. We invoice from the UK, which means all the profits are repatriated back to the UK. And that's a big game changing opportunity for UK manufacturing in the future. Sustainability and the net zero agenda are driving the push for new technologies. Katie is heavily involved in a major aerospace initiative called Fly Zero. In Fly Zero, we're trying to work out how the UK can contribute to decarbonising flight. So we're working on designs for hydrogen powered and electric powered aircraft. And we're laying down the industry roadmaps to get us from here to, to those future aircraft types. This is one of the stars of the show the strongest long-reach robot in the world. From these big ideas to small ideas with a big impact, during COVID, MTC supported a consortium of leading UK manufacturers to help produce over 11,000 desperately needed ventilators. They also helped para-canoe champion Emma Wiggs win gold at the Tokyo Paralympic Games. As part of the high-value manufacturing catapult network of research centres, MTC used 3D printing to produce the perfect paddle. At the heart of any successful company are inquiring minds. The MTC's Advanced Manufacturing Training Centre turns apprentices into engineers of the future. Working with employers to make sure we have understood their requirements for now and also to help advise them and guide them for what they will need in the future from their engineers and make sure there's a good balance of that in their programmes. So the skills that they will need within the next 12 to 18 months, but also making sure we've worked with them to design what they might need in five to 10 years time. It's the new technology and say the industry is constantly evolving, uh, the latest breakthrough being 3D printing. Uh, which again sets up for a lot of different opportunities. I have no engineering background so actually spending this year getting to test out machining, electronics, doing some mechanical things as well means that I've actually got a good feel for what I'd prefer to do in engineering. The MTC was established in 2010, allowing companies, large and small, to test ideas before they invest. Nine years ago, we were working on a project to design electric vehicle batteries. At the time, that was just prototyping. But since then, companies have invested. They've created a facility down the road that's been making batteries for the Formula E series. We're only at the tip of the iceberg. We're, we're still growing. We've still got a lot to do. And so much more we can do if we're bigger. Now, we don't need to be bigger because we want to be bigger. We need to be bigger because then we can have a bigger societal impact.